Okay, so I'm going to pick open this master lock here. This one uh, was sent by William Mansell. Let's just make sure there's enough light. All right. So here is obviously the lock. This is for a master lock. This is more of what I expect to see when it comes to a lock. Um, I'd, I'd use this, you know, uh, rather than their laminated locks and they say tough under fire and all that stuff. Uh, while we're thinking about it, we should probably get the packaging for it. Packaging here. Let me just. So it says Master Lock Solid Brass. Uh, can't read it. And through the camera, sorry, because the camera's upside down the screen. Uh, Layton Massive. Okay, it just says Solid Brass. This is their contractor grade lock. You can see the two blokes there trying to look all photogenic, pretend that they're. Staring into the sky, imagining some freaking building or whatever standing in front of them, and they're just they're just looking at it with pure amazement and satisfaction. Anyway, so at least they say on here the suggested uses are for toolboxes. <laughs> I don't know what gang boxes are to be honest. Uh, must be where the gangsters hide their drugs and weapons. Trailers, gates, fences. Solid brass body. Durable and resist corrosion. I wouldn't disagree with that. Dual ball locking for added protection from hammering and prying. I would agree with that. Hardened steel shackle for, for added protection. Cutting and sawing, yeah, true. The only thing I don't agree with is the number four there, which it says five pin cylinder for maximum pick resistance. Yeah, we all know that you get more than five pins in most locks. I mean, you get a lot of six pin locks, but we're not saying anything. 1999. Made to exclusive master lock specifications in China. All right. Tough under fire, but not tough under water or wind or snow or picks. So we've got the spring steel picks here, we'll try and use them. Um, okay, that'll do. So let's just show it works fine. Very nice. Uh, it's nice and locked up now. And it has a nice bitting. Okie dokie. Master number 576. The core is not removable unless I remove the pin. Uh, I.e. that little silver in there, that hole there is a drain hole for the shackle. There's another drain hole there. Okay, nice easy keyway. So let me let me zoom in on my hand. And hopefully, we'll keep it in frame. Bearing in mind, okay, one, well, one gave a click. My girlfriend could pick this lock, but only into a false set. She hasn't learned how to 
steal its spools yet. Okay, click on one, click on two, three is going to click. I don't think I'm supposed to pick number three too much. And I let it drop down and then I got to click on five. And I let that pin drop, I got a little bit more given the core because it was probably overset and I can feel there's a pin in the back which I think is number four. Okay so we do have a little false set going and this lock was sent by Mr. S Mr. Mansell and the chipmunks. Okay counter and a click I think was at number two. A little bit of count and I click at three. Just raking across some of those pins. Just get count and a click. Click on one. I have to watch the camera screen so that I make sure I keep it on on camera. Let's move over here and see if we can just hold it like this. That's probably much better. So, in case you haven't noticed in the background, we have our locks for the giveaway for 300 subscribers and slash 300 videos. So we have three items there plus a little bonus item, which I don't really count as a separate item. I think it's part of the, the one item there really. Okay. I'll have a look at that in a moment though. But there is a little um, little challenge that goes eh, with it. Could we had to make a special challenge because otherwise yeah, I released tension and the pin that I overset fell down and now Mr. Master is open. So I can't gut this, but that doesn't matter. We already can guess there are serrations probably and spools. So let me move out the way and I can focus again again on the bed. <coughs> Comfortable place to pick a lock. Okay, so that was a master anyway, that's the lock part of the video. <coughs> Alright, got our throat cleared. Okay, let me see here. Well, as you all know, I like chub locks, and here is a chub lock. I've given away an ERA fortress. Now it's time for another chub. And as you can see, it's a lever lock. It's a five lever. I have two of these, so there's no point in me having two in my collection. I'll give one away and share the, the love of the chub. And of course, if you want, obviously I'll include the key for this one, if I can find it, of course. And uh, also, if you want, I can include a extra key that you can use to file down and make into a tensioner if you want it. The other thing is we have a pair of these um, C-clip removers and as you can see they both have the bend in them 
this one. This one you can use to squeeze the clip back together. Those bendy clips. Annoying, annoying clips. That makes it easy. And this one is the main one. This one helps you to pry off those annoying clips that are hard to reach. And I have a pair. Obviously mine are the ones with the straight, you know, straight ends. But uh, these ones are unmodified. And I didn't modify them in case you want to keep them this way, but when you do, if you do want to modify them, you can you can thin them down with a, with a few minutes of, of I suppose you could sand them down if you wanted, but the file is quicker anyway. And you just, you know, thin them down a little bit so that they fit perfectly. And they do work fine. Got some nice rubber handles on them. And obviously we have the other item which is the tubular pixit here that opens tubular locks and if you don't know already uh, you don't need the tubular pick set with the rod that goes down the middle because it's not really necessary as I found out in the in the end um, and that's probably why they just stop bothering with that so anyway you can see you have your we all pick their three different sizes with their extra rubber rings and their tools for loosening things. One thing I would recommend though is if you're going to use one, don't over tension. So take some of those rubber rings off. Uh, say about till you have about three. If that doesn't work, add another one and so on. I think that tends to help. <coughs> and of course. With that you will get a little tubular training lock. So there we have it, three items for 300 and the terms and conditions or the requirements are, so the challenge would be for you to pick a any, any old lock except the wafer lock with either your full snowman or half snowman which is the one I recommend or a single ball or um, single half ball pick which is basically just like that that's a single ball and then a half ball so you've got four different choices but uh, ideally it would be nice to see you pick a lock with one of those. So, if you do decide to pick a lock on the video, just uh, make sure you post the, the link in the description of this video. And uh, I, I, I don't know, I just like seeing people trying out different challenges. This one is a little bit different again. So, and you get a, a reward for your efforts, for your charge. So anyway, that's it. See ya.